This video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball's app makes it easy to keep up to date with transfer news, scores and stats all in the one place. To download the OneFootball app, click the link in the description. The app is free. To watch more of this video, get over and join us on Patreon. Hi lads. <clears throat> so this morning I've been having a um, healthy disagreement with a American lady on uh, Facebook who is utterly convinced that um, the cat um, who got onto the pitch um, at Goodison this weekend was uh, released by someone deliberately as either a, an act of sabotage to disrupt the game or um, as a means of them promoting themselves in some way on social media and getting attention. Obviously, you can't argue sense with stupid. So um, <clears throat> that is by the by. But uh, it did make me think a little bit about kind of conspiracy theories and, and all of that stuff and whether, you know, there's we may be kind of sabotaging ourselves deliberately in terms of our performances. Now, I don't think that's true either, but it did make me think about seventh place and whether it's actually a good thing for us to finish in seventh, um, if potentially that means that we get the Europa League uh, place, but have to start kind of July time, um, and whether that might possibly be at the back of the minds of people like Marco Silva and Marcel Brand, if they've already got some plans and ideas about what they want to do for the pre-season, whether seventh place and potentially Europa would be more disruptive than being a benefit. Great to get your thoughts. Cheers, boys. Bye. Okay. 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 So, <coughs> Marcel, what I'm taking from that is Marcel Brands unleashed the cat to get us injury time to try and win the game. Okay. Because what he's seen is when Ghana went down at Anfield and basically handed them the title. Oh yeah, which he did. Yeah. Him and him and uh, Jordan, the goal, the goalie. He's started. <laughs> no. Okay, the reason cats probably can get into Goodison is probably there's a feral set of them somewhere under the ground. When when was it? Was it about like the eighty odd minute? Like that, was yeah. the when they opened the gates for fans going out? Definitely I don't think I, I don't think I, I don't imagine a cat would find it too hard to get into Goodison anyway. Mm. It's pretty open. Yeah. I mean. Attackers don't find it hard to, no. to get anywhere. They I want felt sorry for the poor thing it was trying to get. I think the cat is a metaphor for all Evertonians. It found what itself. A, it found itself in a place it didn't, it didn't want to really want to be. <laughs> it, it didn't know how to get away from. As much as it run round, it, it just couldn't get out of. It couldn't get out of Goodison yeah. Park. I'll tell you. Go on, yeah. And it just it, it just felt trapped by it all. Okay. My the metaphor I used was the stewards. Okay. Well, like a metaphor for Everton. Yeah. In that none of them could be asked. <laughs> one, the woman who's by the gladder seat, the fellow went. Oh, it's turned. I'm just walked back and sat back, and I'm like, mate, if you're gonna be a steward, go and deal with the cat. Chosen had to go and deal with yeah. the cat. The steward couldn't be asked. They they'd have been the first chased out. Had they gone? You know, hey, half of you are probably cop bites anyway because they are. The amount to go to me, I thought you should do us a favour. I hope you should do us a favour Wednesday when it was coming off. Everyone else. Um, now, like, Jill's real question is obviously focused on... The Stay on Facebook as well, Jill. There's another tip for you. Don't get into arguments with American people on Facebook. That That's what got us into this mess in the first place. Not this mess. Like, the global mess. Facebook. Bots. Russians. A Rus <coughs> an American Russian Evertonian bot. As we said, Jill's question yeah, was, was centered around the seventh place. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she was having a bit of tongue in cheek saying, are Everton sabotaging seventh because they don't want to be in it? But the reality is, the question is there, isn't it? Yeah. Is that do we actually, looking at the whole picture mm. and presuming we've got any influence over finishing seventh, which at the minute we have. We, mm. But we, we might have influence over finishing seven, letting everyone around us beat us yeah. to get seven. Yeah. Um, but assuming that 
we do actually start winning games again, and we've got a we've got an opportunity to finish seventh. The real question is, would Marco Silva want it? I mean, what's your what's your take on it? I mean, he, he I imagine he would want seventh, mm. um, because getting seventh could could save his job mm. effectively. Because if he gets to the end of the season, which I'm sure he will. Um, they are going to look at it, aren't they? They're going to look at his. They're going to go over mm. how he's got on this season, and decide probably what what happens next. And um, so if he, if if he if he could listen at the end of the day, if you said to the manager right now, <coughs> you're going to finish seventh, you're going to be in the Europa League places next season, would you want that or not want it? Mm. They'd say I want it. Because number one, it's better than the last season. So we've, you know, Straight off, yeah. It means that you finish the season strongly, which is what he wants, which means that's progression, mm. which means the players are starting to buy into what he wants. There's fight, the desire, and there's a little bit of football. And when it gets to the time when we're due to play in the Europa League, you know, end of July, he can assess that. Everton can assess that and say, is there something we want to put all that, you know, Effort to eggs into it. one basket thing? Or do we just go, well, you know what? Let's, we're playing, we're playing weaker sides. Mm. So let's just put our teams that we think are capable of beating them. And if we don't beat them, so be it. Mm. But at least that is, a, at least that is, that would be a nicer place, wouldn't it? To then go, well, we're not in it. We finished the season shite, and, and then, you know that, that's a that's a more positive way. You can you can get to July and go, we're not ready for this. So you know what? Just put some kids in, and whatever happens, happens. It's happened before. Villa did it. Fucking hell! Halfway through the season, they decided they didn't want to be in the Europa League anymore. Some, you know, Arsenal got to the quarters or the semis last season, but and a lot of their team was just. A mix of kids and squad plays all the way along. Mm. It happens. You can take it as seriously as you want, but I'm sure that that's what they'd want to do. I, I think. I imagine. But some people don't see it like that. I think. I mean, he come out Saturday, didn't he, and said the aim is to finish seventh mm. because that's better than last season. Yeah. So he's he's quite clearly saying it still, despite getting beat at the weekend. And I think you're always better being in it anyway to have that choice. It's always better to go, like you just said, well, we finished seventh. If you're going in for players, listen, I'm not really convinced that players go, oh, you're in the Europa League, mm. brilliant. But it does help. If you go to get a player and go, well, we're in Europe, you know, we're in the Europa League, so you're going to be, you know, appearances and image, right, and all the other shit that they, they feel like they need to include to get to sign players. You're going to be seen, you know, with a club that's in European competition. We earned a lot of money from it last no, time. No, we did, because the money. money's gone into it now. 